Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. And I want to do it in um, two ways. Let's look at the first method. Okay, so we have um, y minus 2 all squared equal to y squared, right? Now, for me to deal with this, I can expand the left hand side. Okay, remember if you have a minus b both squared, this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And as it is now, my a is y and b is 2. So in place of a squared, I will have y squared minus 2 times a is y and then b is 2 then plus we have b squared right and that will be 2 squared now the whole of this will be equal to y squared then from here we have y squared minus 2 times y times 2 will give 4y then plus 4 that is 2 squared equal to y squared now we have y squared on the left and on the right they can cancel each other okay so this and this will be gone so we have minus 4y plus 4 equal to 0 and from here minus 4y will be equal to minus 4 if we collect like terms then negative can cancel negative and then 4y will be divided by 4 and then 4 will also be divided by 4 because we are dividing both sides by the coefficient of y. This and this will go so that y will be equal to 1. Now using the first method which is um, which um, involves expansion we got y to be equal to 1 now let us apply the second method and after that we will put it back into the equation to see if we are right or wrong now we have y minus 2 squared to be equal to y squared now the second method I want to use is the use of difference of two squares so we're going to have y minus 2, this is squared, minus y squared equal to 0. Now we have difference of two squares and we can apply this um, standard. a squared minus b squared is equal to um, a plus b into a minus b. So I'm going to apply this same standard now because the whole of this, y minus 2 is a, and then y squared, I mean y now is going to be my b. So, in the first bracket, I'll be having y minus 2, close this, then plus b, which is um, y. So, I'll write y over here, then we close this. Then, in the second, we're going to have y minus 2 then it's going to be minus because i use positive here there will be negative then my b is still y write y then everything is equal to zero now the next thing is for me to open the bracket now how do we open this bracket somebody will be tempted to say y times y and then minus two times y but that is wrong to open this bracket you don't have to do anything what you would do is to just open the bracket, provided there's a sign between the, the two terms, right? So what we are going to do now in the first bracket, we have y minus 2 plus y. We don't have to multiply anything. And in the second, we shall have y minus 2 minus y. Then this is equal to 0. Let's continue from here. Okay, so this is what we have, and um, let's deal with what we have in the bracket. 
So here we're going to have y plus y, that will be 2y, right? Then we have minus 2, close this. Then in the second, we are going to have y minus y, and that is gone. So we'll be having minus 2 in the second bracket, and this is equal to 0. Now from here, um, we can just open this bracket now. So that we, ha <clears throat> we have um, 2y times minus 2, that will give minus 4y. Then minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, and this is equal to 0. You can remember that when we were using the first method, we got something like this towards the end, right? So minus 4y is equal to minus 4. This and this gone. 4y is equal to 4. Divide this by 4 so that we can get the value of y. This will be gone. And now y is equal to 4 over 4. And 4 over 4 is 1. So using the second method, we also got y to be equal to 1. Now let us confirm our work. Okay, so the original equation is um, y minus 2 squared equal to y squared. Now, how do I deal with this? Remember that y is now 1, right? So I'm going to have 1 minus 2. Then this is going to be squared equal to, on the other side, we have 1 squared. Are they equal? Okay, let's take a look. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So this will be in bracket. we square this. And this is equal to 1 squared. Now, let me tell you the implication of not putting this in brackets. If you fail to put this in brackets, probably you say minus 1 squared should be equal to 1 squared. Now, it is wrong. Because if you do not put this in brackets, this will be left out. If you square 1, you will now multiply by the negative. So, you will finally end up having negative 1. So, for us to avoid this mistake, we must have our minus 1 in bracket. So minus 1 squared is minus 1 times minus 1. And then 1 squared over here is the same thing as 1 times 1, right? So you can now see that they are the same thing. Negative, negative is positive. So 1 times 1 is 1. And that is equal to 1 times 1, 1. So this is to confirm that y is equal to 1 is satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching and do well to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you. God bless.